walk out of my head too. Um, great, so we're successfully live on everything. Okay. All right, let me know when we're like a minute out. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Yes, thank you for being here. All right, so has anyone been to a live stream before? Oh, yes. Our, <laughs> good to see you again. No one else. So uh, we just started our five minute countdown online. So we are live right okay. now. And we're going to um, simulcast to a, All right. a bunch of different platforms like from out. YouTube, Facebook, All right. uh, Instagram. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome. Over here. On, on yes, here. thank you for being here. One over there. Got another All one right, so it has a couple more over here. But um, we also have this microphone. So that's for you, Nicole, if you want to come up here and ask questions at any time. But. Uh, during the live stream, I love to take questions from our online audience, but also since you're here, if you have a question, come on up to the mic. Don't be shy. But if you do have a question, please come to the mic so that I can hear you as well. And um, and I believe we'll, we'll have a camera on you, so if you're cool with that too. But um, hi, how are you? <laughs> yes, I'm so excited. And you know, this is our, our first live stream for the year. We're kicking things off. Housekeeping um, thing. Maybe there may be more, but... Uh, in the event, God forbid there's an emer emergency, there's an exit straight through that, that curtain. The doors are open. It goes straight out to Broadway. Double doors just like that. Same thing. And um, I'm trying to think, any other housekeeping? Uh, Steven, any other housekeeping stuff I should think of? Any, no? Shannon, any other housekeeping stuff I should share? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Uh, just, you know, I, I love doing these. I, on stage, I can't do this. I can't have a conversation. And so that's why I say, please help yourself to the mic if you have a, a random question about my laundry or an art technique. <laughs> I guarantee I won't know everything, but I'll try my best to, uh, to answer. So you can't see him back there, but Ray, Ray, can we hear you? Yeah. Ray's back there running everything. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but we'll just keep getting better over time and uh, keep doing this. But you guys ready? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to sit down, fix a couple things, and then we're live right now. So they're just seeing like some behind the scenes stuff as it plays. But we'll get started soon. Yes, thank you. All right. Oh, uh, I should ask now, who, who would like to play a game for a giveaway? All right, so it won't be hard to find someone. All right, just be ready because I am going to ask for uh, four volunteers total, but three at first before we start the painting. So just stand by. Um, yeah, we'll do that. I don't need that. Let me hook this up. All right, we've got. Already got the chat going. Looking forward to that. Yes. What's that? Sorry. I just come back to you. Can you produce a link or is it too late? Yep. Oh, we have our. Uh, Do you guys hear about the giveaway? The Einstein giveaway for the. Uh, the canvas print. We're gonna be announcing two winners today, and I will say this, one of the winners is here. So, you know, just keep that in mind. We know who it is. You don't yet, but you will. All right, with 30 seconds. I think I remember how to do this. It's been a minute. Thank you. What's your name, by the way? Katrina, okay, good to meet you. Katina, Katina, good to meet you. Welcome. By the way, I think at least my mom will be watching online, so. <laughs> All right, well, welcome everybody. We are now live. I'm David Garibaldi. 
I don't know if you could see the change, but we changed the name to this live stream. It is now Paint Life Live. I think that's the name. Yes, Paint Life Live. And uh, in about five minutes or less, we're gonna start the first painting. I've got one painting for you today, but we gotta welcome our live audience with the energy today. Let's say hello and leave a comment. We got a live audience. Thank you for being here. So they're hanging out and not only do they have questions, they'll be coming up to the mic asking questions. I want you to ask some questions as well as I'm bringing the painting to life. And like I said, anything from, um, you know, paint uh, or, or art things or laundry related. So e either way, I'm doing my best. But before we uh, start this as well, today we got some giveaways and we're gonna play a game shortly to do those giveaways. Uh, do we have those posters, Shannon? Shannon? Do we have those posters on standby for the giveaways? All right, well, we'll grab those so we can like hand it to you. So you know it's not a, an IOU. Uh, and also we've got the big giveaway of our Einstein canvas print, which uh, will be hand embellished. But one of the winners is here in audience and one of the other winners, I believe, is watching as well. So we'll announce that. And they don't know that they're a winner yet, so. Um, all right, so let's do this. I need three volunteers from the audience. Katina, well, come on, just go ahead and stand by the microphone. You'll be the first one. Uh, we'll do you right here, yes. And, and then, uh, do we'll do a little things so go ahead and stand by that microphone right there all right we got plenty to give away today so see that microphone standing right right there yes yes so we'll start that all right so we're gonna play a quick game called uh, is that art this is very simple so it's either I'm gonna show you the options right now so this is this is a new game so can you guys see the screen here all right so who's gonna go first you want to go, Katina? Yeah. Katina, all right, you want to go first? So just stand at the microphone. All right, so the game is you have to choose which one is actually art, like, you know, sold in a, in a museum or gallery, uh, and which one isn't. Which one do you think? The red is the art? Oh man, she's good, she's got this down. That's actually art, believe it or not. This is an image of a, a piece of museum. So you got it right, congratulations, all right. All right, very good. All right, so who's our next? Yeah, you wanna go? Go ahead. And go ahead and talk on the mic. What is, what is your name? Carol. Carol, welcome Carol. All right, let's try this. All right, so you gotta guess which one is art. I think I'm gonna go red also. With the, with the red also. Yeah. All right, red's a theme. You are correct. So that's art. Yes, and I'll explain why I'm doing this uh, afterwards. All right, we've got our next guest. Come, come to the mic. And what's your name? Aliyah, Aliyah, awesome, great to meet you. All right, this one's kind of, this, I don't know, we'll see. Which one do you think is is the art? Um, I think it's the one on the right. The one on the right of the uh, pile of trash, but it looks like a couple. So you're right, but also this is a trick question because they're both art, so congratulations, Aliyah. All right, so Shannon, uh, so Shannon, I think she's over there, she's got some posters for you. you have, yeah, she'll, she'll bring the posters to you, but we got you guys some posters to go home with. So, thanks for playing. Is that art? Thank you. All right, so we've got a minute left. I just wanna check in with the chat. So, if you're watching this wherever you are in the world, just let me know what city, state, or country you're at. And then in about a minute, we're gonna start the one painting that I'm doing today. So, uh, let's see. So uh, Donna Faye is in uh, Sacktown, she's in Sacktown Rocks. Uh, she, Don, Donna's on Facebook as well watching this. Let's do some other shout outs. I think Debbie, Debbie Graham is watching. Is Debbie Graham also here too? No? All right, uh, let's see, who else? Oh, so we've got uh, Frank watching in Norway. So again, shout out your city, state, or country. And let me check in with Instagram as well. Let's see where you're at. U to the K, so Vinny Pins is in the UK. Thanks for watching as well. Let's see. All right, and we've got uh, Hitting underscore Guru is uh, from Queens, New York. So welcome to you, let me change that. And uh, we've got Candy in Puerto Rico. We've got, uh, I, hopefully I say this right, Sray Royal. 
I believe that's how you say, in the city of Trees, Sacramento, which is where we are today as well. And uh, let's see, we got Scott Smith McFadden in Scotland watching. We got Lola in Detroit. Uh, Chevy Co. in Toronto, Canada. Shout out to Canada. Also shout out to Spencer Miller, uh, who actually we'll announce soon, but shout out to Spencer Miller. He was a, a guest on something that we're doing, a new project that we'll announce soon. So he's from Toronto. Uh, and a couple more, uh, Living One-Handed in Madison, Wisconsin. So welcome to you, it's probably a little cold there. And uh, we'll see who else. All right, and then one more. Uh, camera, camera in Sacktown. All right, so we'll come back to the comments. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, uh, Twitch, or even Twitter, just leave your comment and it'll pop up on the screen. And, and then also Ray back there will just yell out uh, your questions. So let's not waste any more time. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, let's, let's paint. All right, oh, I guess, I guess our intro already rolled <laughs> earlier. Uh, all right, so welcome everybody. We're gonna get into this. Uh, I've got one painting, and as this comes to life, be sure to ask your questions down below in the chat or whatever platform you're asking. And again, to our live audience, there's a mic right there, and don't feel like you're interrupting me. That's, that's why you're here, because I wanna, I wanna uh, have that conversation and answer your questions. Let's do this. All right. You would think I'd be more organized by now. All right, this, here we go. Let's paint. Now, uh, the theme today, I don't, I don't wanna give away too much of what I'm doing, but um, I'll try to explain my process as I'm going along. Again, if you have those questions. This one I'm approaching a little different. Usually a typical, portrait. Um, a typical portrait is I try to start with the undertone. So usually I'm putting a specific color down, but this one, we're going to sort of build a story first before we reveal the actual portrait as well. So I'm going to start off very, very loose here. So when, when I was first uh, getting into art, I was in high school, and at the time, I was doing graffiti, which is illegal, and I had this animation teacher that approached me and presented this whole new way of thinking about my art and how to present it, how to approach it, and even sort of open my eyes beyond graffiti that there were other possibilities to, to create and have a career in the arts. And I, owe him the credit because if it wasn't for him at that time of my life, I definitely would not have, I would not be here today, among many other people on my journey. But during that time in animation, I really started getting into more illustration and characters. And you'll see a lot of that as this first part of the painting comes to life. By the way, the other upside to doing these live streams is I don't sweat as much as I do on stage, which is always a plus. So as this comes to life, you may start guessing. And if you have any guesses, if you're watching online, feel free to send a guess. I do know one person that knows what it's gonna be. N Nicole, Nicole knows, Nicole knows. But if you have a guess, and this is just, I'm just like dragging the, I'm just dragging the, the brush along the, the canvas. So one thing that artists do too much is they try to make it so perfect right away and just be loose, enjoy the process. I'm holding further back on my, my painting is the, the, the brush so I can get a looser line. I have a question. Oh yes, we have a question, Mr. please. Dalton. Yes. Man, well, when I, definitely I don't get as good a sleep as I want to, <laughs> but I would say that my brain is always moving. I, I don't think it ever rests unless some, probably even when I'm with my kids, like playing with them, I'm always thinking of just new ideas. So 
I would say that there are ideas, things like this, like you'll see me build it up. I see these type of things in my dream and I tra try to translate it, especially in this new style that I've been painting in. So it's, yeah, it's always going. And what's your name, by the way? My name is Sylvia. Sylvia. All right, thank you for the question. Appreciate it, yeah. Sylvia, kicking off the in-studio audience questions. So we're just gonna keep being loose here. So just using the edge of this wide brush. One of my uh, favorite techniques that they taught me in uh, high school art class was this technique called the controlled scribble. So it's literally, I mean, it's literally scribbling, but I feel like I still use that every day while I'm painting. Starting to build this up. I'll go back to the gray paint. So I'm using the gray paint because I'm actually going to go over this with some, a little bit of spray paint that'll actually turn that gray into the colors that I spray on it. So I'm just using this as a, as a base. Just be different uh, values of the gray. Usually people wonder too is, is how much is planned out, you know, beforehand. Like how, like am I just freestyling it or am I, a lot of this plan, it's a mixture of both. So I do like to approach paintings with some sort of plan. Uh, could, could I just freestyle it? Yes, but also we'd probably be here for a lot longer, you know? I mean, today we'll be here for about six hours if that's cool. Um, get comfortable at home, no. Uh, but you know, with somewhat of a plan, but you have to leave room for magic. You got to leave room for creativity as it speaks to you throughout the process. So this style was, uh, is inspired by this series I've been doing called Out of Mind. So I've been doing just solid portraits of icons my whole career. And in early 2021, uh, we had an opportunity to do some different projects and I started developing the style of called Out of Mind, which was really peeking into the mind of, of the portraits that I was painting already. And so it just allows me to get way more creative and have fun with what we're doing. So before that, I'm gonna get a smaller brush just for this part, just with a little bit more of a point on it. Any guesses so far of like w what it looks like? Do you have a guess? You can just blurt it out. Oh man, you're always, I, I think you guessed the, the ones last time as well. <laughs> All right, we're not gonna ask you anymore. <laughs> I'm just gonna look past you next time you raise your hand. All right, I'm just gonna get these little tiny details. I won't confirm or deny, but solid guess. All right, Ray, did you have a question? Ooh, that's a great question. So our online audience asked, what is your favorite color to use while painting? Probably, you'll see it in a little bit. It's, um, it's sort of like this infrared magenta. Um, it's, it, just because it's so different than everything else that I paint with. And it just pops off the black canvas. So some colors end up getting a little muted into the black. But this one in particular, the, um, the magenta, which you'll see in just a little bit, I mean, this thing just pops off the canvas. And just a heads up, I'm gonna use a little spray paint so our live audience, if you're sensitive at all to spray paint, feel free to step out and come back in if you need to. I won't use too much, but just a heads up. So I'm just, I'm literally just dragging the brush across the canvas and then changing the pressure that I put on it. So you can get, you know, really simple lines like legs where I know there's more volume in that part of the body is I'll just apply pressure and where there's less volume, I just take it off. It's just super simple, easy technique. 
All right, so we're gonna leave that there. It's gonna add two more elements before we start adding the color to this, this area. I wouldn't say it's an actual story, but I think it's just more of a, uh, it's part of the story of this individual. Any guesses online, Ray? Our online audience, if you have any guesses? Ronettes, okay. All right, chaos theory. A guitarist, all right. Let's add a, a little bit more highlight now. So once I start having layers dry, so you'll see this even on, on stage when I'm performing, is I lay down certain colors and then once it dries literally over minutes after I've been working on other pieces of painting, I go back and I can start adding some highlights, which creates more depth on the portrait. So as much depth as I can create in those really quick portraits, I feel like it you know, just starts to give it life and bring it to life. We'll add some more highlights on this. We got uh, Nina Simone as a guest. All right, interesting, interesting. All right. We're gonna ditch the brushes now and head over to our spray cans. I'm gonna put on just enough because I don't wanna, like we just welcomed our live audience and like it stinks and they just all walked out. So I'm gonna use a, just enough, just enough today. I'm, I'm just used to it at this point. It, it's probably really bad and I'm just so oblivious. We're just going to mist on. We just, I just want to know that there's a light source coming. Coming from this area down here. Sort of like misting it on there. We'll show you all these up close. So we just have just enough pink. We're going to go to our cyan blue. I think it's cyan. Let's find out. Close enough. All right. And just, so you can see now why I use that gray because no matter what color I spray on top of it, it starts to take it on. And now this color is adding way more depth. There's gonna be one more little trick I'm gonna use. Actually, two more tricks that I'm gonna use to really make this part pop. So just enough. Normally I go a little bit crazier. We'll keep it, I, I want them to wanna come back. <laughs> to watch. All right, so just one last detail I'm gonna add on this is, since we have a light source coming on top, I just want to uh, put some more information on the canvas and add that color to different parts of these pieces. So we can see that there's a light source. And these are like very simple dabs of paint. Oh, it's colors over here. We just redid this whole production space in our studio, so I'm still getting used to where things are at. So I'm just gonna add a little, you know, we got our blue light coming down. Like that, we've got this other one over right here. Hey David. Yes. Do you always start on black backdrop? Actually, could you ask the question in the mic? That's, so if, if that's okay. Yes. But great question. Um, I noticed you always start on black um, backdrops or um, you know darker backgrounds. Yes. Is there any particular reason or can you elaborate on that? Yeah, that's a great question. What was your name? Joey. Joey, Joey, thanks for the question. So the reason why I use black canvases is for a couple reasons. So when you are using a white surface, you're creating everything. So not only are you creating the shadows, you're also creating the highlights as well. So to speed up my process really for speed is I've already got all my shadows all over the canvas. And all I'm doing now is adding the light. So it's, I, I look at it and visually in my head, like I'm shining a light, carving out the figure on the canvas and leaving behind the negative space, which I would normally have to take double the time to fill it in. So it's more so lending to speed, so I can create in a quicker fashion, and also just the style. I like the dark depth of the black canvas. I sort of just get lost into it, so. But here's the crazy thing, as much as I do love using the black canvas, 
what, there, there was a time in um, 2020, we had just started doing these live streams in here and we had just moved in. As soon as the world shut down, I got the keys of this place and I was like, can't wait to do, uh, have an audience in here in two years. So here we are now. But uh, there was a time where we, we had run out of black canvas and for some reason we couldn't order it at the time. So I went and got some white canvas and you'll see some live streams where we were using white canvas and they ended up being some of my favorite paintings at the time. So I always love a challenge. I'll use anything. If you give me toilet paper, I'll, I'll, just, I'll turn it into art. It's like that game, like, is that art? <laughs> I, will, I will be resourceful and make it work. All right, we're gonna go to, I think I'm missing a color. We'll go over here. We'll turn this red into pink. Um, I'll have to fix that later. Just so that we get a little bit of that color from below. Again, just these little details. It's just on this canvas, it's sort of like an illusion. I mean, it's not magic because you're actually painting, but as an artist, you use these techniques and bits of information to tell your viewer, to tell the person that's taking it in that, help them believe that there's a person there or that there's an object just by doing tricks like adding light sources, shadows, and using light. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna leave that right there. I'm, I, we have a, a very solid guest here in the live audience. Any other guesses online, Ray? Diana Ross, all right, it's another song. All right, someone else online guessed Amy Winehouse. Solid, solid. All right. Yes, that's a great question. So that was Deanna that asked that. Hello, Deanna, by the way, who's joined us here before. So yes, my, actually, I'm gonna tell the backstory of Creator X, how we even got there. So the, the high school teacher that changed my life, I mean, I, when we first met, I was walking across, you know, the basketball court at school, and I think another teacher was trying to get us together because they knew I was troubled and I needed guidance. So I walk up to this teacher, he's, imagine, imagine Darth Vader, but like out of his costume. She's looking down on me, like you, the breath machine, but no machine. So I was terrified. And, uh, and I remember we, we were talking, I showed him my graffiti book, and he was like, look, do you want to pay to do this or do you want to get paid? It was a very simple question. And so I just answered, I was like, yo, I want to get paid to do this. So he said, well, there's a way. Uh, arts, media, and entertainment was one of the biggest job sectors in the state of California. And animation is one of those skill sets that you can learn. So he took me under his wing and over time, uh, unfortunately we met a little too late because academically I didn't do too well. So I didn't go to college after high school. And um, we just kept in touch throughout the years. He's still my mentor today. Uh, even when I did America's Got Talent, he, um, Every, I think we, we went to the finals, but most of those concepts that we had done in 90 seconds on the show were his ideas. So like the plexiglass thing, he said, um, he asked me, he's like, how do they used to do the animation cells back in the day? They would paint backwards on a transparent surface and they do that every single frame. So 30 frames per second, you can imagine it adds up. He's like, just do one of those. And I was like, he, now he said, go figure it out. That's what he would do. He'd give me an idea, go figure it out. So I did, and that was the Mick Jagger plexiglass painting. There was another one. He came in my, my studio, folded up a piece of paper, and just opened it, and he's just doing this, and then he's like, figure it out. I'm like, okay, cool. So that was the Statue of Liberty, where we did it in four different pieces, put it together with under a minute, hoisted it up, and then pulled this string, and it opened up. So anyways, I say this all because he's always been a, a guide to me. And eventually I I'd sat down with him and I was like, man, I wish other creators could experience what you've taught me. And 
he said, well, let's do something. So that day was about four years ago. We um, founded CreatorX, which we want to multiply creators through not only education, but also inspiration as well. And so we do a summer camp every summer. We're finally going back to it this summer coming up. And if you visit CreatorX.org, you can register for uh, this summer's. And we'll be talking about it more. But, um, you know, it's something that we do here in Sacramento, but also we'll be doing some more online content for creators as well that are around the world. So, yes. Uh, thank you, Deanna, for the question. Appreciate it. Get back to this painting. So now, and my mom says hello. Yes, I told you guys, my mom never fails. She's always... Always watching. Oh, Janessa, welcome. Just, I think you guys all met Janessa. She was uh, welcoming everybody at the door. All right, so you can see now I'm, I'm adding some more flesh tones for this particular person. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait as long as possible to actually do the face, even though we have some pretty solid guesses. So. Even throwing paint, splattering it, believe it or not, there's still techniques to that as well. Um, and it's partly you learn those from making mistakes and putting paint in places that you don't want it to go. But the biggest unpredictability on stage, as much as I could plan, as much as I practice, the biggest unpredictability is paint. It's uh, you know, even though I'm trying to get something done in a quick time, the paint's like, nah, homie, I'm gonna go drip in this place that you don't want me to be, and I just have to roll with it. Are there any uh, artists here with us today that are joining? I know, I, I know there's just some back there. Yes, hello, Christiana. Any other artists out there? Right, oh yeah, this artist, yes. Actually, Nicole, can, can we chat real quick? Is that okay? All right, go up to the mic, yeah. So coming to the mic right now is uh, my friend, Nicole. Honored to call you a friend, but also she is one of the most amazing photographers, I think, anywhere. Uh, she, yeah, she, give, you can give her a hand. She's, <laughs> like, there's people that, like, take photos and they're really good, and there's people that, that make me look like I'm in a magazine shoot when they shoot me, so. Nicole, can you tell us a little bit just about yourself, what you do, who you sure. are, even though um, I just did? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I traditionally went to the Academy of Art as a traditional artist, like fine art and illustration and stuff, but then transitioned to photography. Um, been doing photography for about 20 years. I mainly shoot like editorial and weddings and portraits and yeah, yeah and a bunch of stuff. So, what, so uh, for the, the photographers that are maybe coming up, what are some things that helped you early on establish and create momentum for a career in the arts? Um, I would say that you kind of find a path that you want to go through, whether it's like commercial photography, food photography, people, weddings, editorial, but then you find someone that you can like intern with and just be available and then just soak it all in. Um, I feel like a lot of times photographers or just artists or people nowadays just feel very entitled and just very like they need to get something before they give. Yeah. But I always found that if you could just kind of like always be available and always just kind of be present, then you can actually grow a lot more than going to school. I hate saying it. And, and what do you think is one thing that uh, some photographers skip while trying to rush to be successful, what's the one step that you recommend? Don't skip this step because it helps you grow. It, hel it sort of like sets you on a more solid foundation when you're starting out. I would say don't skip learning the basics first. Mm -hmm. Like learning like photography 101, what's proper lighting, what's a proper exposure, how to use your camera. Because a lot of people just skip to, I'm just gonna throw a filter on stuff. I'm just gonna um, shoot whatever and I'll fix it later in post. Like if you learn how to do more traditional photography as if you're shooting film, then your photos after you post process it are just gonna be so much more elaborate and so much more dynamic. Yeah, amazing, that's, I mean right there, don't skip the basics in anything that you do. And also she, she shoots my girlfriend Trotty quite a bit and I mean they do like, uh, like Vogue magazine type of shoots. So you're yeah. amazing, thank you. And also, 
uh, you already know this, but I'm actually creating this for Nicole. So this actual particular painting as, as a thank you for all the stuff you've done for us. So. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm so excited. Happy yeah. to be here. Yeah, of course. All right, let's, let's get back to it. All right, so we're just building this out. Still. All right. What, what's the what? What's the most ridiculous facts that I know? Oh man, uh, I'm trying to think of like a like a freakonomic type of thing. Do you guys know what freakonomics are? Like when something happens in one end of the world, happens in the other. Woo, you put me on the spot. Um, I don't think I'm that smart enough to think of a fact and paint at the same time. I'll have to get back to you on that one, if that's okay. Because I just don't want to mess up this painting for Nicole. Let's see, before we, actually, you know what we're gonna do over here? We're gonna add some highlights to this side. Watch, we're gonna, I'm gonna be in the middle of painting, it's just gonna hit me, like some random fact. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast. And every moment counts, baby, I don't wanna just miss Just gonna pull thing. that texture over those objects. It all makes sense. Later on, let's go ahead and get a little lighter highlight. When you're working on a dark um, canvas like this or a dark surface, contrast is your friend. So you don't even need a lot of detail to make something pop off the canvas. You just need to make sure that you put the light highlights next to a dark line. So even if I were to fill in this area, which I may do that, I'm not sure yet, I'm always going to keep that line, that dark line in between, to create the break, to create the contrast from what I'm painting right now to the next object to come. I'm just going to throw that highlight on all that way. So even when I'm doing these lines too, a lot of times you'll see me, I'm not just moving the, uh, the brush on the canvas. There's two things, I'm sort of carving. So as I was moving, adding pressure, taking it off, but also rotating the, the uh, brush as well to get more texture out of it. So just like I can do a wide line, I can also turn that thing and get these fine lines out of it. All right. We're just getting a bunch of texture out of this brush. We'll show you all these details later on. Jeremy will come up close, show you. So these are the things too, like you can't really plan a texture or a reflection, things like that. It's sort of, as an artist, you have to become observant of everything around you. So not just objects, objects and shapes, but also becoming more aware of reflections, becoming more aware of texture. And uh, my favorite artists are always ones that, I just look at their work and I'm like, wow, how'd they even know that that's what's supposed to be on that object? They're always the most observant that I've seen. All right, we're gonna go back to this. This really isn't a lot of colors either. It's crazy how much you can build up with just a few colors. We're gonna go back to this highlight color. All right. Let's see, before we, I'm gonna add a little spray on this side. Nicole's like, don't use that color, don't use that color. <laughs> yes, yeah, yes, you have a question? Oh yes, what kind of paint am I using? So I'm using, I'm not sponsored, but I'm using Bare Ultra Premium House Paint. It's a latex water-based paint. Yes, great question, thank you. It's the same paint that is stacked up in the corner of your garage and you're like, I need to save this. That same paint that, that, you, that you have. We all have that pile in our house. Like, it's like the paint that came with the house. 
or maybe you're just get, feeling creative at, at um, Home Depot and you're like, I'm not gonna use this color. <laughs> I'm just using this, uh, using the, like a side spray uh, with this can to create a more solid line against my silhouette and just fading it out and then kind of miss this out. I'm gonna throw another brush or another um, spray tip on this. Well, there you go. can not even think straight. Maybe the paint teams are getting to me. So we'll do that. I'm gonna throw on a thin one. You can see there's a very important missing piece there. We're trying to, trying to save that as much as possible. Throw those brushes down. What was the question? Ooh, since I'm always busy, do I ever get bored? I very, very rarely, if ever, get bored. I mean, I'm always thinking about, I don't know, just what to do next. Uh, my good friend, uh, Taro Arai, so his, his family owns Makuni Sushi restaurants across Sacramento. Blessed to know him, but he has this saying, and it's to Kaizen, it's a Japanese saying, and it means to forever uh, keep growing and learning. And that's what we do, we try to Kaizen every single day. So even this morning, I had a fun night with some friends, you know, drinking wine last night. So I was like, let me just enjoy the morning first before we come in. And I'm still sitting there watching YouTube videos on like how to build this camera rig that Jeremy's using right now, or um, better ways to set up a podcast or audio, things that I don't know a lot about, but I know if I know it just enough, it'll help my team out. And I can say, hey, you should go watch this video. So um, I think it's so important for not just anyone, but especially artists and creators is to never, never stop learning. Even if it's something that doesn't have to do with art, but it can help you uh, as you tell your story and put that out to the world. All right, I'm just gonna do a couple of things. It's that, it's that sort of same controlled scribble technique, but with spray paint. We're just, uh, like we would apply pressure with a brush, we're using the spray, so we're gonna go further away for some lighter sections, create more depth by adding more pressure. I just wanna create this upward motion going this way. We're gonna do that with this object here. Thank you again to everyone asking, uh, asking questions. If you're watching this online or just joining us, feel free to uh, ask whatever question that may be on your mind as you're watching this or if there's anything that I can help with that I may not know. I, I don't know a lot, but I'll try to share what I, what I can. Oh, who is my childhood celebrity crush? Definitely um, Topanga from Boy Meets World. Don't laugh at me. No, I know that. <laughs> I mean, I'm proud of, yes, Topanga. Topanga was my, uh, my crush when I was a kid. I think also, uh, Saved by the Bell, um, the brunette. What, what, what is her name? Kelly Kapowski. There we go. All right, Kelly Kapowski, another childhood crush. All right, we're just adding just a little, I will call this like flare, I don't know. I don't know what, what, what to call this technique, but there's one thing when you lay down a flat color, and then I feel like as an artist, you have to find that next layer. So the thing that will set you apart from anyone else who's just putting a canvas on a, on a surface or pencil on a paper, it's that next layer what life do you give it? So for me, it could be a splatter, it could be how I move the, the can, but this is that layer that I'm adding now, before I do the, the face portrait, um, that I, I want it to feel more like me. I want it to feel like it's uh, coming from my hand. Oh yeah, so how many times do I practice painting before I actually execute it? Uh, I used to practice a lot, because I had time, and now I probably don't even, I, I definitely did not practice this. I wish I did. But uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta 
you got to lean on on the experience to uh, to get it done. But I would say the the things that I definitely practice for are really big productions when we're doing stuff on live TV or if it's like a big uh, NFL halftime where there's you know tens of thousands, you know, hundred thousand people at, at a at a game watching. So I don't look just completely crazy out there. This is the part when I start doing the portrait, even though it's like a, a mini version of the large version, I still have this movement. And believe it or not, there's, there's a, a, a purpose and technique in how I move on stage because if I were to just stand still like this and the time is ticking, I wouldn't be able to quickly go get my next color of paint. So everything from my stance to the, the carpet that we use in the ground, everything has a purpose to help bring this to life. There's nothing that, there's no time wasted, there's no, uh, you know, there's, there's nothing that's left to, to guess why is it there. Everything has a purpose. So we're just going to start building out this portrait, starting with uh, the, the darker skin tones first, and we're just going to build this up one color at a time. I'm just gonna wipe those off on the ground. So again, I'm, I'm dragging that brush across the surface and depending on where I need to go, I'm gonna either apply pressure or I'm gonna let off. And that's another uh, technique that I use to quickly fill space, to quickly start getting, uh, really blocking in the portrait. We can always go back and add details, so artists, Block in as much as you can. Don't try to make it perfect at first. Block it in, go back, fix the details. Take your time if you need to. I know I paint fast, it's coming from the person that paints fast, but uh, even, even me, I still, if I need an extra minute or so, I'll take that. Uh, those of you watching, so we have our, our live audience here joining us and we're at my studio which is located at 500 Broadway in Sacramento, California and we're open now from now till further notice throughout the spring and summer uh, Fridays through Sundays noon to 6 p.m. So we've got a gallery we've got um, some prints as well and also our our uh, in-studio audience doesn't know this but you guys also get 30 percent off anything out there so just so you know just for being here but we have some more giveaways too, so stay tuned for that. I've got some winners to announce. Just building this out, just one brush stroke at a time. All right. So now I'm gonna go a lot lighter. Hopefully this is the lighter color. Just broad dabs of paint. Oh yes, great question. So someone asked, how do they uh, become part of the audience? So you can visit garibaldiarts.com forward slash studio. We'll have Ray put that on the screen. So go there. I don't think we have the next date scheduled, but that's where it'll be and we'll always um, put it out. And if you're on my text community, anyone on my text community here, raise your hand. Thank you for giving the text. You can join my text community and we'll put the word out as soon as we get the spots. They're very limited. So as soon as you get that text, go check out. And that number is 916-866-8101. All right, so we're just building this out. This is the first time I've ever painted this pop icon, ever. In my, like, in my career, this is like one of one for sure. All right, let's get a, let's get a smaller brush for this. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna add some uh, red to the wall. 
I'm gonna go back and get this sort of rosy skin tone. And we're gonna block in this lip. So even though it looks like it needs a little bit more red, we're gonna go back, get some red before we add the highlights. And then I'll, I'm gonna, since I have uh, my wall, and my wall is my palette, I'm just gonna mix in a lighter color with what I already put down. I'm gonna go back and add the highlights. Just on top. And we'll go back with one more time with just a little bit of white. Get that texture of the lip on there. And then now what we'll do is give her some teeth. Hook her up with some teeth. All right, just one. Just like that. And then we can do this. Just add a little highlight on the rim so we can define where her face is. And then this is, this is a fun part. So she always wears these like door knocker uh, earrings. I love these. So we'll put that one in there. We'll put another one in here, hopefully. Nicole, approved? Yeah? yeah? Okay. <laughs> All right, right before we add the whites to her eye, I'm gonna, she has this really signature uh, eyeshadow. So not every photo translates into a great painting, portrait. When I'm researching, one of the things that I do is I have to find an image reference of the person that I think, one, it can translate into a painting, but also it has these really, really, um, you know, the, these, these uh, characteristics that stand out so much, like the beehive haircut, like the eyeshadow, the lipstick, the door knockers. You try to find all these bits of information so that not only does it look like them, but based on that information, it feels like that person as well. All right. I'm gonna, uh, this is, a, I can't believe this is the first time I actually had paint on my hands today. Let me wash this off real quick. We're getting near the end of the painting. Everyone good so far? All right. Let's, that always feels good. If you're ever having a bad day, just throw some paint at the wall. Kids, I'm sure your parents would want some splatter on their wall. Just a little bit. See that? I just you don't need a lot to just bring that to life right there. It's just a dab of white reflecting. We're gonna add some lines to that hair. And now she does have a bow. So I'm gonna add that bow real quick. Add this bow. All right, it is coming to life. We're gonna ditch that. Now I'm gonna do uh, just a few things before we finish this off, but we're getting near the end of the painting. So if you're watching online, and you have any questions left, ask them down below in the chat. Don't be shy to use that. And also live audience, if you have any questions, we're getting near the end of the painting before we do the giveaways. All right. So the beauty of using, the beauty of using a black canvas is when you go back with black, it just starts to make things pop. So whether it's an edge like this, I'm just using a, a really, really fine tip brush. Whether it's this, this is sort of like a, I hate to call it cheating, but it, it, it literally just takes advantage of this black canvas. I mean, just that little bit we're gonna go below this. And even adding this texture for our hair. So we're now, we're, it's almost like it's starting to blend all of these things together. So now it's, it's not one or the other. Everything's sort of, sort of living together now. We'll accentuate that. That eyeshadow. 
I'm gonna do this here with a microphone. And get that really clear, crisp line. This is, see, who said graffiti wasn't gonna pay off? It's totally paying off now. All right, now is my favorite part. Before we end this, we get to splatter some paint, but we have a question first. Yeah, and it's a quick question. We yes. kind of bounced off what you just said. Yeah. Does your ability to paint so quickly come from your start as a graffiti artist where you gotta get in there and get out? <laughs> uh, I would definitely lend some credit to that. So okay. part of what helps me paint fast is I think the past experience of doing graffiti. So even when you do graffiti, you try to break down your letters in a way that can get done quick, but also still look good. I would also lend credit to um, my background in dance. So growing up, yeah, I was in this- your foot movement. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm not gonna dance now, but, um, <laughs> Uh, but, you know, being able to, you know, know how to move on stage and be able to just sort of control your body, that definitely lends a lot of help right. to it. But, um, yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you for the question. Thank you for the question. All right. My favorite part. So, so that this paint really flies, I just dip my hand in the paint. I'm going to add some water so it just moves a little bit further and faster. Let's throw some down here. Let's go back. This is, this, is, this is definitely the fun part. So just like I said, there, there's a technique in splattering paint. What I try to not do is throw so much in the area that it visually starts to make the painting come off balance. So in that moment, when you see me doing these quick paintings, I'm thinking about when I step back, where do I need to balance out this portrait? So do I need to throw some up here to, so that the eye feels more balanced on the image? And then also choosing what colors. Going back, we're gonna create some more contrast with these dark, with this dark gray. And something about that, the black splatters in particular, the only way I can describe it is it cuts into the portrait and it starts to help, help it all blend so it doesn't look like the portrait is just sitting on top of a black canvas, it becomes part of it. So we're gonna get some more paint over here. I believe, uh, Nicole, does she have the piercing right above her lip on this side? I want to say it's on the left. Yeah? Yeah. Right here? Sure. We'll fix it later. This is paint, so we'll fix it later. <laughs> there we go. We'll, we'll, we'll fix that later if it's not true. All right, let me just throw some other colors at this. But my first Amy Winehouse portrait coming to an end. All right, and my favorite parts right here. All right, thank you. So don't go anywhere, take one last look. We're gonna have Jeremy go up super close to this painting so you can see all the details. Live audience, um, hang tight because we're gonna announce two winners for my Einstein canvas print giveaway. And we got another game to play too, so we have more giveaways. So take a closer look, stay tuned. And while you're looking at that right now, I just want to say thank you again to everyone watching online, whatever platform you're watching on. If you're on YouTube, be sure to subscribe and especially like this video as well so we can uh, be in good favor of the YouTube algorithm. If you're watching on Instagram right now, hit those hearts. If you like what you're seeing or if you enjoyed this whole process. And also if you want those updates, be sure to text me, 916. 866-8101. Miss Amy Winehouse, right there. Take one last look. All right, let's go. All right, welcome back. So I'm gonna uh, check in with the chat real quick and then we're gonna play another game. Does anyone want to uh, join the game next? For giveaway, uh, right in the middle of the couch. Yep, yeah, right in the middle, or one of you, it depends on who, who from the family wants to come up. All right, come on up. All right, so go ahead and stand by the mic, just stand by. I'm gonna check in. Uh, we had some other guesses of who the painting was. It's Amy Winehouse, but we heard Selena, which I do need to do a Selena portrait again, right? Yeah. Uh, let's see. 
Someone said, oh, my mom corrected my, um, my childhood crush. She corrected it. She said, you had a Mariah Carey poster in your room growing up. <laughs> Thanks, mom. So glad you could join the chat. You know, this is public, right? <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, so other guesses were Tina Turner. All right. So we're going to play this game real quick. And while we're doing that, uh, if you're online, get ready for the announcement of the, of the other winner. But also let me know where you're watching this. So your city, state, country, shout that out so we can shout you out as well. And uh, our, so our guest joining us, you want to come to the microphone? And go ahead and speak in the mic. What is your name? Uh, I'm Carter. Carter. Carter, welcome. So you guys have been here before to a live stream. Welcome back. All right, you ready to play a game of Is That Art? I am. All right. Um, the reason why I'm doing this too, it is a fun game, but also anything can be art. Like I, I'm an artist, I'm a creative, but I don't take it that serious where I say like that can't be art. Like really anything can, especially when a JPEG can sell for $90 million online. So, all right, here are your choices. So it's big decision. Which one is art? I'm going to go with the one on the right. The one on the right. I think that was, that was the art. Actually, my, my kids did that one on the right, so, which is still art. No, technically it is. Well, I, actually, the one on the left is like a multi-million dollar painting that I chose. But guess what? You're st we're still going to give you something to, to win. So thanks for playing. I appreciate it. Thank you, Carter. Make some noise. Um, yeah, you guys have to send me some game ideas to play, because this is all I thought of. Is this art? I need your help. So let me know in the chat before we sign off. And uh, let's round this off with some uh, shout outs to your city, state, or country. I'm gonna check in with Instagram as well. I see uh, all these comments coming through from YouTube and Facebook. So right now we've got, uh, it says Guyana, South America. That's Winston watching on Facebook. Uh, let's see. Um, we've got Stacy in uh, Lake City, Tennessee. Welcome to you. Uh, Instagram, I'll get to you in a second. Deanna Meyerson, Sacramento, California. Anita in Sacramento. Debbie Graham, Roseville. Uh, Frank in Oslo, Norway. Mark in Barnes, Kansas. And, uh, and a quick answer to Vegas Monkey on YouTube asked, do you make NFT art? Yes, uh, we did an NFT drop earlier in 2021. We've got some more NFT drops coming in soon. So I can't wait to share more about that. Let's check in with Instagram. Let's see, where are you all from? I see uh, New York City, Travis in Roseville. Uh, I see Toronto, Spencer Miller in Toronto. Shout out to Spencer. Uh, Tracy, California. Let's see, where else? Kansas City. All right, and if you have any more, we'll try to get them in right now. It is time to do the giveaway. So I think one of them's here. I don't, I don't know if they're here, but Oh, sh she's not here, but I know she's watching. So our first winner of the Einstein canvas print is Debbie Graham. So she's been super active on the chat today. I thought she was going to be here. So Debbie, congrats. And then also, I didn't choose these. These were randomly chosen by Shannon, who is climbing uh, up in the studio. I don't, she's doing something up there. Please be safe. You signed the waiver, right? Okay. Uh, all right, so our second winner, and then Ray, were we able to get them on? Uh, no. Okay, it's all right. Uh, we were trying to bring them in live to this, but our other winner who is from Texas and is also on my text community because that's the only way to enter and win is Gilbert Carizales. So Gilbert Carizales, you are my second winner. Congratulations, we're gonna put your name on the screen. And, uh, and by the way, we're gonna be doing a lot more giveaways this year, so if you're on my text list, you're already locked in. No need to re-sign up. I got you. And uh, we're going to be doing giveaways too, not just for like original art and canvas prints, but whether it's a t-shirt, whether it's a spot in here, a painting class with me, just all kinds of weird things you could think of. Uh, so congrats to Debbie and Gilbert for winning. So this is a, a, a sample of the canvas print. I'm actually going to hand embellish this as well. So after this live stream, if you guys want to hang out still, uh, I'm just going to put them on the wall and just add paint to it so they have more of like a one of one uh, thing that we're going to send to them. Uh, oh, and we have, uh, do we have the cart? 
the cart with, with can you bring out uh, five of those things in the boxes? All right, she's gonna bring out, we have some more giveaways for our, our live audience. But real quick, before we do that one last giveaway, I just wanna welcome everybody again to uh, our first live stream back in 2022. We, you see the new name right there, Paint Life Live. That'll be the name going forward. And the reason why I chose that because paint is literally so important to me, not only as, as the purpose and the use of it, but also what it stands for. Passion, action, intent, new and to teach. And uh, we're gonna be introducing more about this thing called the paint method. So you heard it here first on the live stream. Uh, it's called the paint method and it's a, a method to help discover not only where you are in life, but also what to create next. So you'll be hearing a lot more about paint as the year goes forward. And Shannon will be coming soon. And then Jeremy, make sure you get Shannon right now. All right, cut to, cut to, uh, she, she's got some, we got these shoes that I wear for live shows. She got, well, I got these shoes and uh, I, I don't have any more room for them. So I gotta, I gotta give them away. So can we give one to Katina, please? Oh yes, in the sweaters, you got it. And also Katina as well, cause she was, and then who else asked a question? Yes, you just, so over here, Shannon, over here in the red, she asked a question and then also, her neighbor right next to her. So we've got, we're just giving stuff away. There we go. All right, so those are shoes that I've worn live on stage. Who else asked a question? Um, live, anyone else? Over there, all right. So, so now you guys know it pays to ask questions. So uh, if we missed anyone, if we missed anyone, I have plenty of shoes to give away. So uh, you can join us for the next live stream. Visit GaribaldiArts.com forward slash studio. We'll be adding dates soon and we'll text it out to our community. But for now, thank you for watching Paint Live Live. My name is David Garibaldi and take one last look at Amy Winehouse. All right, so thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, so I'm gonna hang out. If you guys wanna take any photos, I'm gonna